Hi everyone, Ian from DIY Home Gardening in the greenhouse this morning for a really quick video. Just thought I'd show you how to do some watering or basic watering this time of year to prevent um, normal seedling problems such as damping off. So let me just turn the camera around and show you. Okay, so most people uh, watering implies using watering can, which is fine for when it's nice and sunny and spring and summer and plants are growing vigorously and you're dealing with plants, not seedlings. However, if you're using a watering can with seedlings, one, you're going to end up with all the seedlings getting knocked flat um, and compost goes everywhere and the, the plants really struggle. Second, what you end up doing is you absolutely saturate the, the top of the soil rather than it actually penetrating down through. And if it's a cold day when you're watering, then you'll end up with um, disease problems. Most common one is called damping off. So as we are in January, my method, my suggestion um, is using essentially a water tray or water trough, however you want to do it. Depending on the, the depth of the tray you're using or whether it's a pot, all you need is to fill it up with water one to two inches in depth. Leave the water to just acclimatize if you like for about half an hour. And then that way the, the seedling roots are not going to go into shock when you su subject them to the water. And then you just need to literally get your trays and pop them into your water bath and leave them to sit for half hour or so until you can see the, the water or the moisture getting up to the surface. Yeah, so you can actually feel by capillary action the moisture has come up through the root zone so you know that the roots are going to be getting that moisture they're getting uh, full hydration but without the water sitting on the top of the surface and um, causing disease problems once you've finished your watering so this still has a bit of time to sit there because you can see there's still um, slight separation from the compost to the side of the cell so that's where the compost has shrunk away that's always a good sign or telltale sign that it's dry but once and the weight's a lot better once these have finished soaking up then just move them onto an area to drain so whether that's onto a bit of benching or just sit them on the floor or on bit of old wood or something just leave them to sit for a half hour or so again it just that little bit of time just allows the excess moisture to drain out of that tray um, which you know the moisture that's not needed and then once you've got rid of that excess moisture pop them back into their growing position and uh, leave alone again until you can see that uh, compost shrink away again or until you can see obvious signs of where the, the plants are looking a little bit um, dry. You know, it is better this time of year to have the plants on the dry side than on the wet side. On the wet side is a surefire recipe for disaster, damping off problems and uh, subsequent plant death. Plants will tolerate being on the dry side more than they will on the wet side. So that's my tip for you. Yeah, told you it was going to be a quick video. There's nothing too technical on that, but uh, just following a couple of little guides, uh, guidelines, simple rules uh, means that you're not going to have all your hard work and germination uh, times ruined through um, poor watering technique. So, uh, yeah, any questions, send them over to me. I'll answer them, as always. Um, if you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos. And uh, till next time, enjoy your gardening. And um, yeah, fingers crossed for these good weather to to hold out for uh, well as we go into February. And um, let's see some loads of plants get going this year. So till next time, bye for now.